All right, let's do this. I'm Carl Levine. I am from NS1. We are an authoritative DNS provider based in New York City. I'm from New Hampshire. I brought two of my buddies with me, Isaac and Nate. Wave. All right. We'll be up in the suite at 1.30 if you want to come talk DNS. But today we're going to talk about why visibility in DNS is important. DNS, of course, is the domain name system. No, the DNS. No, the internet. No, DNS. No, internet. Uh, we all would not be here if there was no DNS to actually do the things that we were doing with all of our microservices and stuff. Yes, why is that DNS guy talking about stuff at DevOps Day as well? Again, you can't automate, deploy, do much of anything without a name attached to that resource that you're putting out there. So DNS, um, as far as I've learned in a lot of these uh, conferences that I've been to, I mean, a lot of the challenges we face, slow propagation time, outdated, um, older technologies that are just not built for the speed of confidence that uh, DevOps requires. So again, you know, some of the information that you're going to want to use out of the DNS are things like query statistics, eDNS zero client subnet information, threat vector analysis information, and infrastructure planning. All these things can be gleaned from the DNS if you just uh, plug into it hard enough. All right, so you remember that episode of Seinfeld when they're driving around the brand new Saab 900 and they had no gas in the tank. That is like using query stats to just be the number one thing that you, you know, judge your DNS on. Fact of the matter is, if uh, your DNS provider has it, they can provide the information that can help you do all the things that you do a little better and a little more efficiently. Put servers in places where your customers are. Shorten up that time between, you know, your, uh, the query and the response. So one thing that you can get out of the information, you know, from the DNS here is to understand where your users are. You know, it makes no sense to stand up a server if there's nobody around to actually use it. Uh, so, you know, make sure you align with a vendor that can provide this sort of information about the requests. Uh, threat detection, anomalies, you know, if you see a record getting hit on your DNS that, you know, shouldn't be getting hit very hard, that's usually a pretty good sign that you're under attack. Uh, so you want to use that information to help understand, you know, is this normal traffic or is this uh, bad traffic? So we have an integration, for example, with Grafana, tool I'm sure a lot of you guys use uh, that can actually provide that information. And as part of your overall sort of monitoring uh, you know, visibility, you can actually see what's going on with your DNS in the same dashboard where you can see what's going on with you know, that brand new Kubernetes cluster you just spun up or any of the information that is pertinent to what you are doing on you know, the course of a normal day. <sighs> All right, okay, so again, you know, fine tuning of queries uh, and traffic management. You want to put your content and your services closer to the people that are using them. So use the information coming out of the DNS to do that as well. Uh, so, all right, and now in the same vein, all the data that you already have can also be piped into the DNS. So, uh, if you know, obviously we have an API and integrations uh, at, at us, you know, here at NS1, a lot of other DNS providers do too. You know, you want to be able to, again, you know, move at the speed of confidence. And then, you know, you want a DNS that moves uh, with the data that you already have to help inspire innovation and, you know, continue, you know, finding efficiencies and ways to do things better. So some of the ways that this is done, you know, in a traditional DNS setup, you might use some, uh, some geo load balancing. You might use a little health metrics. Uh, this is all well and good, but again, this is a very limited context. So you want to be able to have a broader context from the overall, you know, you know, big data that you have access to. Uh, again, you know, 2.5 quintillion bytes of data are generated every day. How much of that's getting left on the cutting room floor? You want to be able to use all the data that you have to its full potential. And guess what? The oldest and uh, most venerable of internet protocols is, you know, ripe for that sort of disruption. So you want to move at the speed of confidence using the data that you have, and then be able to gain efficiencies through that. All right, and so just a quick plug for us. And like I said, we're up in the vendor suite at 1.30. Uh, we can take all that data in and do interesting things with it, uh, route based on metrics that are important to you, your business, and more importantly, your customers, whether they're internal or external customers. Uh, and if you want to learn more about the domain name system, we on Monday just launched NS1 Academy, which is a vendor neutral DNS training certification. Uh, that we've rolled out as a service to all of you uh, so you can learn more about how this very important piece of the internet works. My name is Carl Levine. I'm here with Isaac and Nate. We'll be up in the suite at 1.30. Come talk DNS with us. We'd love to see you.